Hey folks and welcome back and in today's video we will be looking into how you can use ESP32 devices. So we will look into how we can actually configure this device first and then finally we will attach with home assistant. So in the first part of the video we will burn a sample configuration through which we will connect it to the Wi-Fi and then afterwards connect it to a home assistant. In the second part, we will look into how we can actually put in some custom configuration sensors inside it. So basically, we will do a simple sensor that is the Wi-Fi signal synth on this particular device and then see how we can actually configure this ESP32 device. So I will do this both for Home Assistant OS as well as for the container version. So I myself run Home Assistant using containers. So I actually also run this ESP Home Setup using container. I will show you this as a part of this particular video. With this, let's get started. So first thing, let's look at how we can actually have the ESP Home installed on a Home Assistant OS. And then we will look at the container version. So if you are interested in the container version, you can skip to the next chapter. So let's go to settings here. In the settings section, I will go to add-ons and in add-ons, I'm going to click on this add-ons and I'm going to select now ESP Home. With this, I'm going to select the option to install. Now this will take a little bit of time. So, so now this is now installed. I'm going to enable show in sidebar and watchdog. With this, I'm going to start now ESP Home. So now ESP Home has now started. Let's go to ESP Home section here. So let's click on this. Do you want to retry? Yes. And now ESP Home is all set up and running here. Okay. Now here we have actually set up this ESP Home on a Home Assistant OS. Now suppose if you are actually running Home Assistant OS on a container so then you will not get this particular add-on facility so for this what you will have to do you will also have to run the ESP home as a container so I have this docker compose file so let me open this docker compose file in this I'm using ESP home and I'm actually going to start ESP home as a container so this is the configuration to actually start ESP home using docker now this particular configuration and the docker compose file i will link it into the description below in my article that i will put in so what i will do now next here is i'm going to actually run docker compose up and this will actually now start esp home as a docker container now to access this you will have to use your machine's ip address so in my case it is 214 and it's 60 to, that is a port for ESP home so if you can see here ESP home has now started up now I already have some particular configs already present here so that's the reason uh, I have these configs which are running in my ESP home container because I run home assistant as a docker container so I run all of these as containers but for simple sake if you are using home assistant OS you can do it in the same manner so now what I'm going to do now is when I say add new device, first of all, you'll get this particular thing. Now, when this window pops up, it actually tells you that since our home assistant OS is not been protected using HTTPS, we will not be able to install basically the configurations directly on our ESP32 devices using this setup. So what we would have to do is use this ESP home for this. So first thing what we will do is use this ESP home web to actually have a ESP32 connect to our Wi-Fi and then we will connect it to our home assistant. So this is just a simple setup. Next, we will look into how we can actually modify this setup using this ESP home that we have set up using the add on plugins. It's the same thing that we will do also here using the container okay so now first let's actually open esp home web now since i'm using a different browser i'm using brav browser this is not supported here so you will have to open either microsoft edge or chrome for this so now this is the chrome browser for me and i have this here and i'm going to now connect my esp32 device that i have here i've connected it already to my machine and i'm going to say connect so now this is showing up here as a usb single serial port here 
So I'm going to select this and say connect. So now the device is connected. So what we are going to do is now we are going to prepare this for the first use. So this is like the basic use of actually configuring your ESP32 device so that I can just connect it to the Wi-Fi and then connect this device to my home assistant. So let's prepare this. So I'm going to click on this and then I'm going to click on install. So now when I'm clicking on install, I need to press the boot button. And then when I'm pressing boot button, the installation will start. When it starts, you can leave this particular button. So now it's already started the installation here. So this will take about a minute or two. So let's actually fast forward to the next part. So now the installation has completed successfully. So when I click on close now, it's going to connect to the device and it's going to ask me now if I want to set up the Wi-Fi. So let's actually connect to the Wi-Fi. So for this, first I'm going to now select my uh, Wi-Fi network and I'm going to provide it the password to the Wi-Fi. So this is my Wi-Fi setup. When I click on connect, this will actually now set up the Wi-Fi connection for me. So now the Wi-Fi connection is all done. Let's actually click on this visit device. So when I click on this, this is the IP address on which actually this is connected to my Wi-Fi right now. And this is a basic dashboard to tell you that the ESP32 device is now actually working with connecting to your Wi-Fi right now. So now what we are going to do now is we're going to try and connect this particular device to our home assistant. So let's go to the settings section here. And in devices, we are going to now going to add a new integration. So we're going to say ESP home and we are going to specify this particular IP address that we got. That is this one. And we are going to give this here. Remember only the IP address is required. So I will remove HTTP and keep the port the same that is 6053 so this is the default port for home assistant to connect with the esp32 which is configured with esp home when i say submit this is actually now successfully added and now if i go and see in this esp home section i can see this particular one device right now so this is actually the way you can actually now simply burn a simple uh, image onto this esp32 board and then connect it to the Wi-Fi and then have this connected to our home assistant instant. But as a part of this particular video, we want to see how we can actually customize this particular builds, right? So for this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to this ESP home here. Now in this ESP home, I'm going to add a new device. And in this case, I'm going to say continue. Okay, now let's give this a particular name. So I'm going to call this as ESP32 tutorial okay since i'm doing this setup for the first time it will actually ask me for my network name that is my wi-fi name as well as a password so let me actually give this information to this let's actually say next so next time it will not ask you this this since i'm doing it for the first time it will uh, ask you this and store it in the secrets section next since this is an esp32 device i'm just going to select this now here it has already created this particular configuration for me and this is the encryption key that we will require later so i will tell you when we require this so right now i'm just going to skip this and i'm going to go to this edit section now let's actually zoom in a bit now in this edit section there are a bunch of things in being put here like uh, it's it has enabled logging it also has put in the Wi-Fi credentials directly inside here. And in case if this particular ESP32 device cannot kind of communicate with the Wi-Fi, it will fall back to this particular hotspot. So that means you will get a Wi-Fi uh, connection for this with this particular SSID and this will be the name. This is just a fallback mechanism if it does not connect to the particular Wi-Fi. Okay, so now what we are going to do is let's go to ESP Home dot io and what we are going to do is we're going to put in certain simple sensors so we're going to just put in this particular wi-fi signal strength which will actually tell us the signal strength of the wi-fi for our esp32 as well as we're going to put this particular http server now we will look at what this particular http server shows us so first thing let's go inside this wi-fi signal strength and we're going to copy this particular example configuration 
Now we're going to take this and we are going to go back to our home assistant here. And I'm going to paste this here. So I'm going to specify that we're going to use the Wi-Fi signal platform along with it. I'm going to give it a name and I'm going to specify an update interval of one second. So every second is going to update the particular sensor information. Now this is the sensor part. Now let's look at the part related to the HTTP server. So let's go to the HTTP server here and I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste this inside here. So let's paste this here and this will enable the HTTP server on port 80 for us. Okay. Don't change this port. Uh, if you change it to 8080, then you will specifically have to put 8080. Specifying 80, that means you don't have to specify any port and the HTTP server will be available on the IP address directly. So now let's actually save this and then after close this and then we are going to now install this. So let's click on install and now we are going to use this manual download option. So let's click on this and we are going to say modern format. Now this will take a little bit of time because this will actually now compile the image and then do all the configurations inside it and then this will actually show you a download window. So let's actually wait for this to complete. So now this has actually prepared our binary for us. So now we're going to save this. And next what we are going to do is we are going to go back to this particular UI here. So we are going to now connect our ESP device back again to this particular interface. So I'm going to click on connect, select this particular option here. That is where I've connected the ESP32, say connect to this. And now I'm going to click on this install button and choose the file that I just downloaded. So I downloaded this particular file right now. I'm going to open this and I'm going to say install. So when it is going into this connection phase, we need to press this boot button and hold it until we see this next part that is erasing and then installing. Once we see this, we release the button and this will actually now start the installation process. So let's wait for this actually to complete. Now the configuration is installed. So now this will actually connect to our Wi-Fi. So the our ESP32 should be connected. So you will have to figure out how you can actually find that particular IP address of your ESP32. Uh, you can check your router wherein it will show you all the devices that are connected. Or you can check this particular video here wherein I've shown you how actually you can figure out the devices that are connected to your network using command line for Ubuntu as well as for Mac and Windows system. So you can check this particular video out. So now I'm going to close this section and I know that my uh, ESP32 is connected to this particular IP address. So I'm going to refresh this. And as you can see, we have this new sensor here. So now this sensor is actually getting updated here, telling us the signal strength. And this is the HTTP UI that has been shown. Now this is the UI that gets generated when we put in that HTTP server. So if you refresh this, this will actually now keep on getting updated based on the Wi-Fi signal strength. And here you will see the log output also. Our main intention was actually not only having this web interface, but we want to connect this using Home Assistant, right? So let's copy this particular IP address and let's go back to a Home Assistant. I'm going to close this and I'm going to go to settings, devices, and I'm going to go to add integration and I'm going to select ESP home. Now here it has discovered ESP32 here and I will require a encryption key. So first of all what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my ESP home, go to the edit section and I'm going to copy this particular encryption key. So I'm going to select this from here, go back here, go to devices, add integration, ESP home. You can either select the discovered one or you can put in the instance of ESP home. So now when if it's not auto discovered, you will have to specify this particular host IP address. So I know my host IP address. So I'm going to put this here. I'm going to remove the HTTP and I'm going to only specify the IP address and the port is going to be this one that is 6053. Don't change it. This is the port on which it will actually communicate with your ESP32 
device click on submit and the device is already configured now in case if it asks you for the encryption key remember to uh, take the encryption key from where we actually copied and then paste it into the uh, dialog box let's close this now and let's go to our esp devices here and here we can see now you have this particular new sensor here so this is the sensor information and the sensor is getting updated so with this you can see your wi-fi signal sensor now let's actually go back to esp home here and here you can see there are two entities here let's open the entities and here one of the entity that you can see is your sensor for the wi-fi signal okay so you can use this now in your home assistant to do some automation or even just to monitor the wi-fi signal strength so I hope you like this particular video in which I showed you how you can actually communicate with this ESP32 devices. Now I'll be making more such kind of videos so make sure you subscribe to this particular channel and give it a thumbs up for more such videos to come. Till then take care and see you in my next one.